Hey my friends, out and about in Lincoln. Happened across this place. It's called Windmill Farm. And as you can see, it used to be a windmill. Let's take a look. So they are always filled by five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hello there. So the far left one is table 67, the, the one with the red back on it. Put yourself up there, and then when you're ready to order, you order at the bar, you can use the app to order, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. So it's a nice, quiet corner. Well, I say quiet, we have to deal with this kind of noise. I'm not sure if we'll get a YouTube strike because of the music. Got to say, firstly, my friends, that we asked the manager if, the, if there was a table without a speaker above it because of the music, and he turned that speaker off. So very accommodating. So here is the menu. We have the starters, the burgers. Come down here. Grills and classics. This is a big one down the bottom. Farmhouse chip shop supper. So you get battered fish, battered sausage, scampi, chips and all that. You know, curry sauce, da da da. Only 12 99 That's pretty good. Your steak prices. And there's your chicken combos. Flip this thing over. Signature carvery. Standard large and small. Here are the desserts, and just above them, you can have these, the weekday set menu, two course, £8.49. So I've decided to have the soup of the day. I've had the tomato and pepper, but there were two options, can't remember the other one, I think it was butternut and something. And also the small farmhouse carvery. These are your carvery tickets as well for when you have your meals. Lovely, thanks. And there are the carvery tickets. So there's one for me, one for my Maroni. And she also had uh, the cheesy garlic bread. That was it. Nice view from the corner. So there's the cheesy garlic bread. That's looking really good actually and smelling good. We come over here and here's my uh, tomato and pepper soup, which again is looking rather nice. If I just grab this spoon, so I'm actually left handed. So I'm just going to take it from around the right to give you a little show. Oh yeah, look at that. Medium thick. Nice colour, nice red colour. You get this bread and butter action as well. So I'm just going to try that suit for you quick. All right, here we go. It's absolutely delicious. It's nice and hot. It does taste very tomatoey, very peppery. I don't think you'd need to season it. That's a really, really nice bit of soup right there. And we've just got the cheeky first bite of this, see what it's like. I'd say that was some of the nicest garlic bread I've had. The bread's really, really soft. You can taste the garlic, you can taste the cheese, and a bit of green action on top. Good starter. Right, that's that clattered. Time to go and get the carvery. Well, just look what we've got here, my friends. So I've got some roast beef with stuffing. And we've got some bit of cauliflower cheese, or just cauliflower, I'm not sure, but we'll f find out in a minute. Broccoli, and we have this kind of like glazed buttery carrots, red cabbage, roast potatoes. It's huge Yorkshire pudding, which, as you can hear, has a really good scratch. All slathered in that gravy. You could have onion gravy or regular gravy. I've gone for regular gravy. You can't really tell the difference, but there's the onion gravy on Mama Oni's plate. And she's also had a couple of parsnips. Okay, I think I'm going to start with a little bit of this cauliflower first. Comes apart nicely. Feels quite dense under the fork, so it's not mushy at all. Look at that. There's a nice floret. Okay, right, here we go. Delicious, that was. It had some of this wonderful gravy on it, nice and beefy. Cauliflower's a wonderful texture in the mouth. I'm guessing the broccoli's going to be similar. Yeah, it is. It's quite firm, so nothing's overcooked. So we'll go some of the <laughs> we'll go with some of the uh, broccoli next. It's really lovely. It is again perfectly cut. And now this carrot action. They have tossed that in butter, in butter and salt. I've got to say that's one of the nicest carrots I've ever had on any roast dinner. Really good. 
Okay, let's go over to the mash. Oh, it's wonderful. It's really, really soft, nicely seasoned, a little bit buttery. You can definitely taste potatoes. This is going well. You have to scoop up a load of that gravy. It's John Smith's mash. Let's see what that's all about. Dead good, absolutely. The gravy tastes rather beefy. Warms up the ones that are well, actually it's warm enough, but it warms it up anyway. A bit of red cabbage, a bit of red cabbage. I'll sell it again because they're chucking bottles around again. Here we go. So red cabbage time next. That is simply divine, that red cabbage. It's not too pickly, but it is, you know, just a little bit uh, pickly. Great tasting thing. Now, I might have to just put my um, phone down for a second to cut up a bit of spud meat in Yorkshire. So give me a second. Okay, so here's the roast potato. As you can see, it's rolling around in that gravy again. There it is inside. Nice, clean thing. Got a decent bit of burn on the outside. Okay, roast bud. A lovely thing again. Properly home cooked, no, no, no frozen potato rubbish there. Really nice. Now, a bit of the Yorkshire pudding. Let's get the finger involved. Lovely, really nicely cooked. The, the um, brownness tastes dead good. And they're not unseasoned. There's actually some taste to those Yorkshire puddings. Really good. Oh, hang on, got a bit of stuffing over the back. Going on here. <laughs> sage and onion stuffing, I reckon it is. Yeah, it is sage and onion stuffing. Lovely stuff. You can taste sage, you can taste onion. It's a little bit punchy. It works well. So finally, we've got this... Um, Carvery beef. There it is, right there. Okay, it's been slow cooked for I think it said 14 hours on the menu. But look at that thing there. All right, finally the beef. That's absolutely lovely. It tastes m mightily beefy. It's a lovely cut of meat. It was gentle and soft in the mouth. I would say, looking at this thing right here, because all the components are really good. I do love this red cabbage, I've got to say. I think with the gravy, I'd probably put a little bit more, um, what's it called? Like bits, <laughs> bits off the roast meat in it. Because it's a quite a smooth gravy. So that's, but that's about the only thing I'd do. Really nice tasting thing. Eight out of 10 to the last bite. Right, that's that clattered and about to pop. Okay, time to waddle out of this joint. On the way out, we noticed this is called the cake away. So if you've got no room left after your main course of carvery, which I doubt many people will have, you can take some of this home. Look at the size of these things. Huge layer cakes. Oh, fresh air. God, that's really nice after such a feed. Right, it's time to get back on the road. So, thanks for coming. Until next time, get out of here. What have we got here? Sunflower spread. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. You can keep that. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that is a bastard.